Today I would like to talk about how to use a mechanical keyboard that has a Windows layout on your Apple Macintosh computer. Now these keyboards that are on the market now are really neat in the sense that they have very nice mechanical key, they've got cherry switches and other kinds of switches, um, and they are illuminated, and most of all they you can assign different colors to keys so you can group your functions so you can put all the numbers in green, you make red for the delete buttons, and this is a very nice feature. So this is a very nice and compact little keyboard and there are some Mac specific keyboards um, but as far as I know none of them have illumination with colors and have mechanical keyboards. Now so um, there are some constraints and some things that you need to consider when you uh, go about using your uh, keyboard with a Windows layout on an Apple Macintosh computer. The first thing is very obvious that the sequence of command control and alt option uh, is different on Windows and Mac, but if you go to your um, system preferences uh, keyboard and then the modifier keys, you can easily reassign the uh, keys and then you can get the sequence back um, as you want it so that this is actually command um, uh, like it is, uh, and this is option and this is control like it is uh, on a normal Mac keyboard. So this can be done without any extra software, that's just operating system, uh, very straightforward. Um, there are, however, some other issues which uh, take a little bit more attention. Uh, one of them is there is a menu button uh, in the Windows world that has no equivalent in the Mac world, and therefore um, it is not even picked up as a keystroke. So this button is completely useless, so I switched off the light that I don't use it. Um, Another thing to consider is that um, uh, the software that uh, Logitech provides you with uh, enables you to assign keys to, um, to the function keys uh, all the way up here, which is all nice and good, but it only goes until F12. Um, the F13 and F14 and F15, which is print screen, scroll, lock and pause break, uh, they cannot be modified with the Logitech software. Uh, and uh, you can, however, access the uh, louder, now, uh, mute, louder and softer buttons by using the function keys, that still works. But the Logitech software does not allow you to uh, assign any functions to these key. Um, well, in the uh, system preferences, again, um, there are some options that you can actually uh, do some shortcuts so, for example, uh, you can, in the screenshots, um, actually assign the F13 or uh, the well, F13 button to screen sh shooting, so which is pretty similar to print screen. So that's all nice and good. Um, but, yeah, it, um, you have to then make do with whatever uh, is possible in these um, uh, menu. And, for example, increasing and decreasing the volume is not part of this uh, system preference, so um, we're still stuck with having to use the function key uh, to get uh, to this uh, particular uh, audio functions. The most interesting button I found was the insert button. Um, this is a button that toggles between the overwrite mode uh, in, in Windows, so when you enter text, uh, you can choose to overwrite text instead of uh, adding new text and I can try to demonstrate that um, um, with this little uh, piece here. I can actually, here in this editor, in Share LaTeX, I can toggle between overwrite mode and not. So you can have the normal mode, which is just uh, uh, here I am, um, but I can switch to the overwrite mode and then I can go back and overwrite what I wrote, which is the overwrite mode. Now this works uh, in Shalate quite nicely. Now uh, in uh, other editors, this is a little bit more tricky. So uh, in Microsoft Word, you can customize your keyboard and there's even a possibility to toggle uh, the overtype mode and you can assign a, a, a key to it. So for example, you can assign the F13 key or the F14 key uh, to this uh, function. However, and this is now getting very interesting, if you hit the insert key, 
nothing happens. It is not being picked up as a keystroke. Um, like I can assign F4 to it, no problem, but you can't use the insert key to toggle um, in the overtype mode in Microsoft Word. So this button kind of still remains pretty useless and I have not found a good way to make this work. If you do figure out a good way or a good use for this particular key, key then please let me know. Uh, it's kind of a shame to have a key on your keyboard that you can't use. Um, overall, I'm, I'm very happy with the keyboard. I'm particularly happy with the using colors to group functionalities on your keyboard. Mechanical keyboards are just great. It's really lovely. I like to have a compact keyboard with still the cursor keys and the page up and page down keys, which I use quite often. Um, so um, you can make a, a, a keyboard like this work uh, on your Mac, um, but there are some customizations and some um, uh, smaller issues around with useless keys or uh, keys that um, where you have to access the functionality in an indirect way. So there you go. This is how you can or cannot uh, use your Windows uh, layout keyboard on a Mac. And um, if you got any comments, uh, please leave them below.